Hi, I'm Dawn and this is where Shabby Meets Bling. Um, happy summer. <laughs> happy June. Um, here's one. Happy Juno-ween. Yes, Juno-ween. We are celebrating Halloween in June today and my project is going to focus on this. This was an after Christmas uh, sale. Um, at, a, at a thrift shop and those are the best sales you guys if your thrift shops do that hit them after the fact and just gut them with anything you think you might want to use later but today I am going to turn this little Christmas candlestick into something for Halloween for Junoween let's get started but first I'd like to thank Annie of crafting with Indie Annie Jones for putting this wonderful Let's Celebrate Juno Ween collaboration together. You will find the link to her fabulous channel and the link to this playlist in the description box below. Let's take a good look at this candlestick. It has a lot of wax on it, so I will be cleaning it up well so my paint adheres. I've already drilled a hole in it and added a molly because I will be screwing something into that later. Let's clean it up and give it some paint. I'm giving the entire candlestick, top and bottom, a couple of coats of black flat paint as a primer. On to the second coat. At this point, I just need to wait for paint to dry. It's boring. <laughs> well, it's time to start the real painting on this, on this candlestick. And I am only using chalk paint on the entire project. And you can see this color and it looks a weird blue, but it really is called deep green and it really is deep green, but it's very, very uh, deceptive. I am painting inside the groove of the, the main part of the candlestick. And if I go over on the sides at this point, it does not matter because I will be painting the raised part a different color. I'm also painting the little grooves on either side of the candlestick in this deep green as well as the base. Ignore that whitish color below there because I changed my mind. <laughs> now I'm painting that uh, orb shape at the bottom of the candlestick, pumpkin orange. It's a beautiful color. It portrays as brighter here, but it's just a gorgeous, pumpkin-y, lovely color. Remember that hole I drilled into the top of the candlestick and added the molly? This is what's gonna get screwed inside it. So I am painting uh, the one part of the base a beautiful sage green and ignore the other part of the base because <laughs> I changed my mind there too. It will eventually become sage green. <laughs> so back to the top part of the candlestick I am now painting the raised area in between that dark green, uh, a beautiful, beautiful night sky. It looks kind of like denim <laughs> for a reason. <laughs> I'm also hitting those little side flap things. See, there it is, <laughs> sage green. My, uh, Design changed directions, and then again, my paint had to, too, in a couple of areas. Sage green. So pretty. So here's the other area where my direction changed, <laughs> of course. And uh, I'm now adding sage green here as well. On this little flap. This little weird flap thing. <laughs> Now I'm using that dark green again by just adding some little details. I'm just doing some little circles, just random circles over top of those kind of half glow ball things just for a little bit of spice. Spice. <laughs> More detail painting. I have now flipped it upside down and I am creating uh, maybe you could guess. <laughs> I'm creating boots. Oh, boots. Are we guessing what this thing is yet? <laughs> it's not a secret. 
more like more like a guessing game but you guys are smart you'll figure it out <laughs> i'm uh, adding a second coat of cashew in this patch trying to get my lines straight and even trying back to my pumpkin my pumpkin paint <laughs> whoops <laughs> i am outlining that little uh patch of cashew with pumpkin paint because that is going to become his mouth because i know you guys already guessed that i'm making a jack-o-lantern but what kind of jack-o-lantern <laughs> that is the question. <laughs> and here she goes. Now we're gonna use uh, ink, that's the color of this paint, to give our little jack-o'-lantern some teeth. We're gonna fill his little mouth with some teeth. Not totally full, not totally full. But we are gonna give him some. And the paint I'm using, it's actually uh, Hello Hobby. And I will put a list of all the different paint colors and the links in the description below in case you want to use them. And now his face. Got to give my nose and eyes. And this is just a basic uh, outline of what I'm doing because I will come back in and uh, clean it up. I'm gonna make his eyes a little bigger and define my lines. Now it's time to attach my jack-o'-lantern to the one base and then the other base to that base as well. And you can see that I have added a little bit of a kind of a petal design on the, the top base and I've added shoelaces to his little boots. Just a few more special finishing touches. Just a few. I want to cover that base, which is now going to be the top of my jack lantern. I want to cover it with a uh, berry box, a wood berry box. So I need to trim it down because I want this thing to protrude over that base just a hair. So I'm going to cut all four sides. I folded over the part that I scored and I'm gluing it on the inside. It's going to add some thickness so that it fits on his head or that square piece a little bit better, a little tighter. I have uh, a couple of foam molds, little kind of scroll work type things. And I'm going to cut them up to make his mustache because every nutcracker needs a beard and a mustache. <laughs> did I, did I mention he was a nutcracker? I think I did, didn't I, right? <laughs> so this is going to be part of his mustache. The many things that I'm gonna fill his berry basket with is uh, some corn, some dried corn. Tis the season, it's fall, and uh, he went out and he grabbed some corn. And he's gonna, gonna put it in his basket. I'm just using foam, spare foam, extra foam, garbage foam, which once again, let's reiterate, I keep everything. I keep all my scraps of everything because they come in handy. So I'm using foam and I'm using uh, real corn husks. Of course, you know, I kept those from last year too. And I'm just gonna use the corn husk to cover the teeny tiny little molds that I made that look like corn. And we're gonna make teeny tiny corn cups. This is faux moss wire, which I will be using for his arms to form his his lovely little arms. It's very difficult to find. Uh, Hobby Lobby is the only one I think has it, and I had to order it online. Now for a base 
for our basket. We don't want to see the actual candlestick itself, so I'm adding in a lovely layer of forest green moss. Now I'm just trying to figure out exactly what I want in my basket. I did paint a couple of my foam pumpkins and there's my part of my corn you can see and some acorns and some faux, faux flowers and I did add some wire to my corn so it will be easier to keep in place inside the basket. It's done. It's totally done. Let's take a look. I'm so excited. And I'm so excited for Halloween. So this is a good start. So remember this, where we started this gold Christmas candlestick? We took it from this. And then with a little paint to this. And then with a lot more paint and detail to this. And here's this basket. Full to the brim. Overflow with <laughs> with some beautiful pumpkins that I painted to match him, some faux flowers and nuts, and of course our handmade little ears of corn. And here you have a, a good look at his boots and the detailing on them and on the base of the candlestick. <laughs> the, the candlestick uh, jack-o'-lantern nutcracker. <laughs> And there's his bouquet, which he got at the market because he's going to take it to his Nutcracker girlfriend. It's full of nuts and flowers. And he's looking ever so dapper with his scrolly mustache. And you will see the remains of the scroll work on his shoulders and on the brim of his hat. Once again, I'd like to thank Annie of Crafting with Indiana Jones for hosting and assembling this wonderful Juno Wing collaboration. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like, share it with your family and friends. Share it with anybody that loves Halloween design and decor. You can show your support of this channel by subscribing, so don't forget to subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest and check out my brand new Etsy store where I will be adding new items on a regular basis. But for now, this is Dawn with Shabby Meets Bling. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time. And happy Junoween.